you to the characters of our story today. Lord Shiva, who lives in Mount Kailasha, is also known as the destroyer of evil. His wife Parvati, their two sons Ganesha and Kartikeya. The other character of our story today is Lord Kubera, the god of wealth. Once, Kubera decided to organize a feast. He looked over his palace made of gold. Everything in his palace was made of gold, precious metal, precious stones. He decided to personally invite Lord Shiva. Oh, I wish to dazzle Lord Shiva with my wealth. And off he went to invite Lord Shiva and his wife. Lord Shiva knew everything. When Kubera invited him, he said he was busy and he would send Ganesha to the feast. Kubera left very happy. If not Lord Shiva, Ganesha will do. He started to organize the feast with great enthusiasm. For the feast, different variety of food was being cooked. What is your favorite food? Exactly that was being cooked. And soon the day of feast arrived. And as Lord Kubera was relaxing, because there was still time for the feast to start, he heard a knock at his palace door. Who could that be so early? And he went and opened the door. What does he see? Our little Ganesha. Mama told me that we should never be late for the feast. So I came on time. Haven't I? Lord Kubera couldn't say anything because Ganesha was his guest. Now would you tell your guest you have come early. Please leave and come back. No, you wouldn't. You would invite the guest in. So did Lord Kubera. And when Ganesha entered the palace, he could smell the food. I am hungry. May I start with the feast? Lord Kubera said, of course, yes. Please, come in, come in. Ganesha sat and started to eat. And he ate and he ate. Ganesha was so hungry. The cooks, the chefs were cooking as fast as they could. But Ganesha was still hungry. He kept on eating, kept on eating, kept on eating till all food was over. And then he went, Lord Kubera, I'm still hungry. What kind of feast is this? Kubera was really tensed. Before Kubera could do anything, Ganesha stomped to the kitchen and started to eat everything. Guess what did he eat? What do you think? Can you name some fruits or vegetables or grains? Exactly. He ate up everything in the kitchen. Then he went to the godowns and he ate up everything out there. There was nothing left. Lord Kubera, I am still hungry. There is no food left. Ganesha started eating the chair, the chandelier. Kubera got really scared. Oh God, Ganesha will eat up my whole palace. What am I supposed to do? And he ran zoop, zoop, zoop to Mount Kalasha. And he begged Lord Shiva, please help me. Ganesha is going to eat up everything. Shiva smiled and looked at Ma Parvati. Parvati gave a laddu to Kubera. Give this with love, Kubera. Keep your pride aside. Give this with love to Ganesha. Zup, 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 Kubera came back to his palace and rushed to little Ganesha. He offered the little laddu to Ganesha. Ganesha took the laddu. Burp. I am done, Lord Kubera. I am no longer hungry. Now may I go? Kubera says, Okay, okay, Lord Ganesha, okay. And Ganesha left. Didn't Ganesha teach a good lesson to Lord Kubera in his own little ways by eating up everything? This brings us to the end of the story.